I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was fun. I thought it was the attention to, be to detail was beautiful. <laughs> I thought it was beautiful, very beautiful, very chic. I thought the Chanel show was an insult to women. What I saw was a very unpleasant, misogynist fantasy, which is not what I come to Paris to see. the first show ever held at Le Carousel, the new $100 million temple of fashion built beneath the Louvre. And Karl Lagerfeld made it a night to remember, though he's probably trying his hardest to forget the whole affair. Besides inadvertently insulting an entire religious community, which we'll touch on later, there were some who called his combination of masks, high heels, and a steep staircase a slap in the face to all women. These models are the most professional models in the world. They can walk on really high shoes, they can turn on a sixpence, but they can't do it if they can't see. So the clothes in general were a foolish proposition to women. But much closer to the show, the models themselves were insulted by what they had to wear. Masks were amazing because you could actually see straight. The only problem is you couldn't see down, and there were steps. This is why you saw half the girls going like this, but I thought it was a great effect, a great effect. Were they supposed to stumble? Uh, because they don't know how to go down a staircase like Mr. Ghetto or Josephine Baker, that's their problem. No, there was a problem. The man who made the set forgot to put the black lines on the stairs. And I thought the black lines were there. And then the girls told me they were, they were forgotten. Oh, because this morning, when, I, when there was nobody in the room, I said, please do the black lines. as we are doing the black lines. They hadn't done the black lines. Some people thought it was an interesting effect. Yes. Express. I like the idea that people see it this way. It turned out that stumbling models were the least of Lagerfeld's worries. France's Muslim community was outraged to learn that fragments of the Koran had been embroidered onto three different outfits, an unintentional mistake made by Lagerfeld, who thought they were merely love poems. Controversy erupted, and the House of Chanel quickly burned all of the dresses and apologized to the Muslim community. According to news reports, the House hired a bodyguard for Claudia Schiffer because of alleged Muslim threats for having modeled one of the outfits. All in all, a lot more trouble than Lagerfeld probably ever imagined for a collection that found its origins in the fairly tame world of art. In a way, the inspiration is like some Magritte paintings or some Max Ernst paintings. Those invisible faces, things like this, you know? It's like being in your own limo. You can see the world, but the world cannot see you. Ah! Yeah!